Welcome back everyone, let's play World of Waves 3 as Germany episode number 28. So if you just were to take a snapshot of the way things are at this exact point in time, June 1912, you would say things aren't looking good for Germany. They actually aren't looking that bad, but you know, the monthly balance being, you know, a full one-fifth of our remaining budget, and uh, tensions being what they are, it doesn't look great, but I think we're in a good shape. I, th I think we're in good shape, but I'm not, I'm not sure how the war will play out if the, man, if the British do get involved, that's going to be a pain. I forgot to activate everyone. Well, it's good to see all that, I guess. Um, build railroads, always. I mean, lots of good stuff's happening. No war. We do want to mobilize everything. So that's going to take a little while for that to go into effect. We have all these ships that are still old. I never refit them, but yeah, then there's the whole foreign stations thing that I, I didn't really want to address. Oh, it's interesting to see that the destroyers actually get worse at ASW as they get older. I'm not sure... <clears throat> that kind of doesn't make sense to me. I mean... I'm not sure what the abstraction there is. I can see a ship running slower, but, you know, its ability to detect something, especially, like, I don't know, sonar equipment can be replaced, can it not? Seems like a refit would fix that. But, um, well, I mean, there's probably a good reason for it. I'm just, it's not coming to my mind. We did just, you know, oh, wow, another nine submarines. That's great. I was going to say, <laughs> we just did that. Oh, it missed. There are unfortunate clues. The Hawk Party is demanding action. We should take this to an international court in The Hague. That's interesting. Issue in order to sink any unidentified submarine close to our territorial waters. Wow. Or we can just issue the ultimatum to France. Well, look, it's, it's going to happen sooner or later. I'm sure we're at war. Okay, we should arrest any of their citizens. And now we are at war. Okay, good. Um, unrestricted is kind of a tough thing to do when Great Britain is so close to war with us, but we'll still roll the dice there. Uh, it's a very risky gambit, but... Okay, maybe we will do prize rules just to start. I'm hoping to see this tension go down. In fact, I'm so hoping I'm going to lower the intel with them even more. Give them a little bit more space. And we're going to need to do trade protection. Well, luckily for us, that is one thing we can do in spades. Uh, even the Hans Ve Ve Vevers? Hans Webers. That's how I would say it in English, but uh, maybe it's Hans Webers. Anyway, we have these old light cruisers. Those all need to go on to their traditional roles as trade protection. And that should be more than enough trade protection, 68 of 19. But it also means that although I forgot to do the divisions, dang it. Yeah, man, it's just the, unfortunately, every little thing. So it's funny because I, I was the person who, who was saying Hearts of Iron 3 is great. I love it. And a lot of people were like, well, it's just too much detail. And here I'm actually one of those people on the other side of the fence. I'm the one saying maybe there's too much detail. I mean, the divisions, it's, okay, maybe it's just the UI in this game is pretty bad. Um, and if it was a little easier to use, I would be more interested in using all these neat little features. Uh, nonetheless, yeah, we're basically pulling a lot of our older light cruisers off of the front lines by putting them into trade protection. And we have, effectively, we only have the Gregor Muckenberger, who, yeah, we really should have a division for these guys. We might as well just do it. I don't even know who's in Okay, so look at this. There's nobody in this one. Let's go. Wait. Oh, this is a... I take it this is a... Yeah. J. 
change can I change this to be can I change it to be not a heavy cruiser division because it is elite <laughs> Um, I'm going to leave it there. I wonder if we can add battle cruisers to it. All right, well, let's get a new division then. And we will add these guys to it. I'm just going to add four. I could go three and three, but I'm just going to add four for now. All right, we have an attack. It happens to be in French waters. Well, let's go ahead and do it. It is a convoy attack, oh boy. Who's rising to the occasion? And by the way, we did not get our big ships out before all this happened, which is unfortunate. Okay, what the heck is going on? Okay, we got it. <laughs> what the heck? Thought my game might have crashed. Well, that's, that's, that is quite in a convoy attack, geez. Why is everybody starting under AI control? Did I change my settings? Pause, um, flotation. Who starts paused? Initial AI control is, it should be destroyers only. I don't know how that got changed. That's okay, we can manually take it off. And hey, look at that. They made it out, the Gregors. Cool. Not too shabby. You are also another one, very good. Who's leading? We have, speed is limited to 22 knots by weather. That could be a good thing. I mean, that's some really bad weather. We do have our good armored cruisers out there, but I have to say I'm not, you know, if we're up against battle cruisers, which I believe the French have, then it will be problematic no matter what. You can also go to the Almanac here and go to France and figure out what they have. Okay, so they do have one battle cruiser built of the 22,000 tons. They have two, three Dunkirks, which are eight by 11. I mean, they're 20,000 tons. So they're, they're going to beat the snot out of our armored cruisers. And they have five dreadnoughts. I feel like our dreadnoughts are going to be better. They have the they have 11 inch guns on theirs, 12 11 inch guns, so it's quite a lot of 11 inch guns, but I mean, even 12 inch guns, they have 10 of them, so that's a good amount. But they're pretty light as, as far as ships go. I mean, I guess their speed is pretty low, so they I guess they'll be well armored. Anyway, I don't have anything I really wanna change right away. We'll let our ships just start drifting. Although we do wanna, oh, okay. I was gonna say, we, we will wanna engage at some point. We're going 18, is everybody going 18? That should not even be possible. Yeah. Let's get these guys to settle down to cruise. Fourteen and... These guys are going 10, all right, all right, all right. that's a little bit even for groups that are trying to save a little bit of of their engine potential that's a little bit too much it's conceivable that we'll just miss them entirely too which appears to be happening can do is wait to see if uh, one of them stumbles into our site. OK, 
So otherwise we will start the war with a negative. I'm pretty sure that if we don't sink anything, it's an, it's not a good thing for us. Okay, so let's see. Let's get, um, I guess, some ships to split up at this point, just so we have a little bit more um, vision. I don't like doing this, but we really need to find the convoy. Keeps pausing because I'm clicking around. But every time that happens, I think we must have found a ship. Or we get little notifications about fuel remaining. I don't think we need to pause on fuel remaining orders, actually. Maybe I can turn that off. Is there not an option to pause, to not pause, I should say, on fuel down 50%? Because that is not a message I ever need to see. Yeah, I didn't see an option for it, so I'm just going to assume that it's under uh, like some category of messages, of which some of the other ones I might want to see. Well, this doesn't look good. This does not look good. I don't think we're going to find them. I don't know where they would be at this point. Not like we have float planes or anything that can go scout out where they are. Oh, that's a... There we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. Come back in, I guess. We'll just pretend that we're out for a, a saunter with the fleet. And we'll wait for basically them to say, you didn't catch them. We didn't do anything wrong. We just kept going in the direction they start us off as going. What, what could we have done differently? I guess we could have just had our fleet immediately dispersed to all four directions. But that's not realistic. And I don't even want to try to turn these guys. <laughs> could put everyone on AI control is the only thing I could do. But no, we're just going to keep going north. And this will end up being a defeat for us because they had all their transports survive. Well, lucky for them, the game didn't spawn me facing their transports. We didn't bumble into them, we just... <sighs> anyway. What the hell? Oh, we didn't quite sink it. <clears throat> so we ended up... <laughs> Being victorious by sheer luck. Well, it was also sheer luck that we weren't going to be victorious. Okay, this is one of their 11 inch ones. It survived. I would love to have. Well, I guess I, I don't think we're in very good shape to take these things on either. Oh, we're very similar, in fact. I am, I stand corrected. So we have eight 12 inch guns, um, sorry, seven 12 inch guns as a broadside. No, six? No, it is seven, yeah. Seven, seven, um, seven 12 inch guns. So these are actually pretty good. They're 21,000, I mean, they're heavier than the other ships. So that makes them better, right? Oftentimes the answer is actually just simply yes. Good to see the dock size going up. Okay, lots of torpedo stuff, submarines, torpedoes, and then randomly quality negative one 15 inch guns. Hey, we don't know how to build 12, what was it, 12 inch guns that were a negative quality negative two, but we got 15 inch guns done. Ah, uh, wow, our ship Glucan has been sunk by a mine in Northern Europe. 
This is one of those interesting points where I'm going to bring up that thing again where I always bring it up, how there's no strategic control. We're just in the Northern European theater. And it would be very nice if you had like some little bit more control to say, hey, you know what, we're, in, we're just going to control this area. We're not going to go into the Bay of Biscay because that's controlled by the enemy. I mean, you can't tell where the enemy is going to be, so encounters are still going to be random but I, I think that that is the downside of that the whole way the battles are generated is the fact that it, it makes it random for where your forces are going to be but you should have control over where your forces are going to be anyway um so we lost a battleship what kind of battleship was it Oh my gosh, it was our, our newer ones. Absolution, right? Those are the newest? No, the later rungs are the newest, okay. Well, okay, I guess it's good because later rungs are actually pretty combat effective. Four 12 inch guns, but are those the short barreled? I think they are, I mean, we can just check. No, they aren't, okay, great. So yeah, these things have a chance of actually seeing service for a while. Um, by the way, of course, I'm trying to read the comment sections and all that. Several people have mentioned about refitting ships with uh, better machinery. I'll go ahead and go, give it a look again. In the past, as I've explained to people uh, innumerable times, said basically <laughs> it's ad, ad nauseum at this point, um, refitting machinery was one third the cost of building a new ship. So you could replace three ships machinery and get like from 20 up to 22. Um, or you could just get an entirely new ship, which would have been better to begin with. And, you know, it's probably like 24 knots. I'm referring to speed. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, these guys are on the Baltic. That's good. So that way we don't have to worry about losing them. Now, the fact that we are having some problems... I gotta pull these guys back out of the Baltic. We don't need to be in the Baltic. Get into Northern Europe. Just don't know why any of them are there. Those two can stay, because I don't really want them. Let's all move over, especially on trade protection, to Northern Europe, just so you can see it. Same with these guys. I mean, we just need everybody in Northern Europe to prevent the blockade. Everyone else is good, good, good. Okay, so let's weather the storm here. Cruiser battle. I love cruiser battles. Unfortunately, it's probably my armor cruiser versus their battle cruiser, which is not what I want, but. Okay, good. But we got a scout to tell us that, so it's not too bad. Okay, wind is out of the west, basically. So we want to try to nose our way on. Yeah, I'm going to say go ahead and still nose our way on, nose our way on down south. And you are probably going to need to go What's your max speed? 23, it's pretty good. What's the speed of 28? That's more, more than we can do. So we'll head north to just get a vision of what, what, are, what we're up against. Okay, these are... I guess it's a B? There? BC. Wow. Oh man. That's. Well, yeah, get this guy out of here. That's the Blucher, too. Only has a max speed of 20, so she's not going to be cut out for any kind of fight with the Battlecruiser. Yeah. Well, we're going to go ahead and squad max and get our destroyer ready for a run. Because I think that's what's going to end up happening here. We're definitely outgunned. 
So, I mean, I want to just I don't, try not to beat this dead horse too much, but <clears throat> what my forces are doing out here, I don't know. I mean, maybe if I was the commander, I'm not sure how we would want to prosecute a naval war against Germany, uh, France. Frankly, there's not much. I mean, especially when they outnumber us, we're, we're, I mean, we're more or less at parity. It's not like one of us, although technically they blockade us, I just blame the really, really silly blockade mechanics for that. Um, but yeah, I don't know if we, there would be a reason for our ships to be this far out here. But that's just the way it is. Battle generator, battle generator is going to battle generate. These are probably not what we think they are. We're gonna have to, you're gonna have to pick up the pace here. Okay, we got him to at least turn, that's that's good. So you have only a speed of 20 knots, we should be fine. We basically just need to watch out for exactly this. 26 knots, my goodness, okay. Well, the destroyer is even gonna have a hard time getting out of here. So let's just turn tail and run. And we might actually have to make a run at the battle cruisers if they they pursue. That's okay. Let me get my other destroyer ready. I did not hit run continuously, but that's okay. In that case, it was a blessing in disguise. Yeah, so we're kind of losing them. Kind of. Just get this cruiser the hell out of there. Ah, I think I saw him move from south to, to east, which would be very good. We're, pre we're pretty far out. I don't think we need to worry about mines or anything like that. And up on speed we go. Let's go down to cruise now. I think we've evaded them. And wait for the this one to end too. I mean, you might ask yourself, what else can we do? Ah! I actually flinched in my chair. Well, it's one month to get director. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. My goodness. Okay, we sank one enemy merchant at the cost of two submarines. That's not how this is supposed to go. My goodness, what is going on? I am, this is not, we are not, this is not working very well. <laughs> the strategy is failing. So we'll move to unrestricted submarine warfare. That's the first thing that's gonna happen. Our budget is having a problem here. But then that's all gonna be fixed in just a couple months, which is exactly the amount of time we have left. Okay, we need a battle which is not in the frickin' Bay of Biscay. Why, 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 why? Ah. Just let it go. Hard to do. Why after hitting a mine, losing an armored cruiser, for what purpose? If we're basically even and actually more and more, we're becoming more outnumbered, why are we fighting right off the 
coast of Brest. I don't know. I just don't know what the motivation is. We don't have any th uh, motivation. There's no strategic encounters. And obviously the funny thing is that a war with France and Germany would just almost not, the Navy almost wouldn't matter at all. So, I mean, that's all going to be fought <laughs> World War One style. We are, this is a World War One type battle going on. All right, we have a few ships over here. I don't know what the heck that's going. What what the heck is that? That's the scout force. I thought I turned that off. Support force can appear in battles now. Yeah. Large battles preference. I don't know about that. I kind of like having the the variety of battles. I think they've done a pretty good job balancing the the size of them. Okay, that's a message I just don't need to receive, but that's okay. Okay, we're right in the thick of it. Well, at least we don't have to wait long for this. Here we go. Um, we need our battleships forward immediately, and we just gotta hope that these things can, can do the job. I think I'm just gonna get them up, up to 16 to start. Take these guys off of screen formation. I really don't mind if the destroyers stay on, but not the armored cruisers. Okay, this is interesting. They are deciding to close the range. I'm not even sure what this group's gonna do. I don't know if they're even gonna get to the battle in time. I'll do it at a speed of 16 because that's, you know, that's not too fast, but they should get there. Now we are firing, but we know, oh, turns out there's a sudden rain. Light rain though, not too bad. Does affect the visibility though. Okay. Still have vision. Okay, you're making 16 out of 20. Weather's well, limited to 20 knots. Okay, that might actually be an advantage for us. Let's get these guys to just be line ahead. I mean, you, you got a sense that we're running right into their main fleet. Okay, so the one of their light cruisers is closed. This is a pretty new one. 5,500 tons, 26 knots, very, very quick. Two inches of our uh, two inches belt, ten five inch guns, so five per side. Well, six per side. If you count the yeah, the front and the back, so, so yeah, six six gun broadside. Hit it with six inch guns and a nine inch gun, that's good. Alright, what's that? Is that the main thing? I'm gonna have to get these guys up. Okay, they can actually go 19 because we're dealing with, um, these must be the, the newer ones, the latter rungs, they are. Good, 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 good. Okay, well, I mean, this is gonna be fun. Here it is. I think we gotta go ahead and take control of the destroyers and get them up to speed and prepare to do our thing. Oh, you guys are having the misunderstanding. This is just a destroyer, but I will, I mean, hey, we have light cruisers here, which are going to be shielding, and these armored cruisers are going to be able to hold their own. Oh, that is not, that is, that is not a destroyer. Squad max, off we go. But this is actually what we want. Our battle cruisers are in good position right now.
You'd always like to see your Dreadnoughts against their Battlecruisers. That's the best matchup. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Who? I don't know who launched that, but that is, that's quite a shot. Are you guys not participating in this battle? Or do we have a bunch of peace protesters on these ships? Go ahead and fire your guns anytime, boys. Note that there are no red lines. <laughs> what the heck? Did I turn off the red lines? Fire lines. Why are we not firing? Why are why is nobody firing? The it's the game is bugged. Oh man, that torpedo did not hit. It was a good try. And even them going through the line, the ladder wrong. It's okay. So these guys are firing. That's good to see. Uh, yeah, what the heck are you guys doing? AI control, turning you on to support. Line ahead. All right, so we don't need to waste our destroyers needlessly. Let's put them down to 20, tuck them back into the line. Just hope we get a few lucky hits here. You guys should be squad max to get out of the way. Oh no, oh no. It's moving slow enough, it might be the battle, the dreadnought line. All right, it's not the dreadnought line, thankfully. Oh, uh, at least that we know of. I think we've acquitted ourselves well so far. Just want to check when reinforcements are going to be able to join the fight, and basically the answer is never. Going to have to make do with what we have, and that's not too bad. We're we're doing all right here. I'm not sure why this destroyer is making such a bold run. Do not launch your torpedoes against another destroyer. It's just not what I want. Good, we finally hit it. I was like, come on, we could better punish this thing for coming in this close. Sixteen. Oh my gosh. Not good, not good. He might survive, but the problem is we're, stupidly, way out in French territory. There's no friendly port nearby. Hmm. I think we're just going to let her go south. We're going to have to hope that she can get herself out of there for her own mess. So we, I mean, we don't have anything. We can offer nothing. Just put her down to a slow speed and hope she survives. Alright, we're gonna have to swim through the avalanche of enemy. Whoa, my goodness. That'll do. That will do. Oh, 
Okay. Get busy living or get busy dying. Just launch. Fire everything. We really need to disable the disabling of torpedoes now. This is a good time to be launching. Can you launch anything? I mean, I'm not sure if you can, but... Where's this thing? Um, I guess I don't mind launching... This is probably a destroyer, but I don't mind launching a, a port side torpedo that way. Just see if we get lucky with something. These are the ones I'm, I'm obviously after. Oh my gosh, they just, we swam right into them. Can't get that one, not yet. I think I need to do um, line of breast turn together. We really do need to change course. And you might not be able to hit anything, honestly. It's kind of a bad angle. I'm not even sure why they let me do that since that's basically attacking my own ship. Sometimes they're very, very crazy about, hey, no, that's friendly fire. You can't do that. But then sometimes it's like, oh, no, no, firing it right at your ship, perfectly okay. You never know what you're going to get. Oh, boy. All right, we are dealing with the Normandy-class ships. These are just battleships, but... Come on, somewhere in here maybe we have a, a dreadnought? I'd take an armored cruiser. I'll take anything. I'm not picky. Alright, that is good. We got and that is definitely a dreadnought. Boy, we I, I can't believe we ran we've run the gauntlet. We've expended every single torpedo on this ship. Well, you know what? Don't I mean, we gotta just turn around, right? Just get the hell out of here. And you guys, I don't know if you should even bother launching at that anymore, but why not? Especially if it's the starboard side one, launch it. Again, right, basically going right at our, our ship, but that's fine. Yeah, pull away and go. Get out of here. Get skedaddle. We've done our job. Oh my gosh. We hit somebody else, but what the in tarnation's name is S31 doing? It is literally inside of the enemy battleship. <laughs> we got it. We got him. We got him. We got him. <laughs> All right, the chance he took a hit there, as did another one to the bar Bjarn. Sorry that I, I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. Okay, this is this is 26,000 tons. It's just taken three torpedoes. Goodness gracious. The only problem is we are pretty close to port, but I will be I'll be chucking this computer out the window if that thing survives. There's still hope too. We could probably get another torpedo or two in there. Not that we have any torpedo what? Oh, it's port side. Dang it. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, look at it. At this point, launch it at anything you can. There's like a destroyer, Bori. Can't launch that. Yeah, I can't launch anything. Oh, well, I mean, uh, not too surprising. Wait, the CA went down here? Yeah, no, the angle is not great. I I get it. Uh, you don't have any torpedoes, so you, the, this S-35 has just... has. It, they are a survivor. They are definitely a survivor. You guys get the hell out, too. We could maybe go in with uh, the poop and enter. I mean, she's dead anyway, right? Could maybe send our, our protected cruisers in or something. Doesn't look like a great idea. I mean, how many torpedoes have we landed so far? A light cruiser 
the Chonzi Heavy Cruiser. The Bjarn has taken three torpedo hits. And I'm very happy with that. Jeez. Okay, just get out, get out. We also should be paying attention to what Bjarn is doing. Well, I guess we'll have eyes on her for a while while the S31 sinks. Avoid that torpedo. <laughs> and this is a... One of these was a light cruiser. Oh, we did launch a, another torpedo. I don't know why, but... That's all right. We're doing okay. And everyone's scurrying out of here. And we do have these light cruisers available. Dang it, anyhow. It's kind of interesting. What if we do? What if we do? What if we do go in? I don't think we'll risk the armored cruisers. That is pretty risky. I mean, you could just get a flash fire and be done for too. Uh, go ahead and cut behind her. Doesn't matter. Okay, go ahead and settle down to cruise. And let's um let's pile back together. You guys probably need to come back this way. How are you doing? Well, the light cruiser we have has actually successfully survived one torpedo hit. So is it like Is it possible for their ship to survive three? I mean three is a lot. That is a lot. And our, technically our dreadnoughts do have torpedo defense. I, I wish I remembered what, how much. It's, I funnily, funnily enough, I don't think you can even look up your own ships. Yeah, you, you got this, but it doesn't tell you what your torpedo protection is. It would be fun to get these guys involved though. They're they're potent ships, especially against what we've seen. I think we'll have the upper hand, especially especially against a ship that's already taken three torpedoes. Yeah, we'll have to gather back up. I guess what I need is... Uh, are their light cruisers dead stopped? Okay, she's now down, and we have these guys. You guys, if you're gonna make a run, at least make it at like 17 knots, 18 knots, probably 18. Okay, we're spotting ships here. This is uh, this is where it all gets really ugly, I think. This is likely to be a destroyer. Hmm. Probably actually have torpedo range on her. We do. All right, we could get lucky. I would accept the luck. This group is bit mainly hoping we can catch a glimpse of the dreadnought, especially if she's on fire or anything like that. Yeah, the light cruiser knew right away that we launched a torpedo, so she turns away. But it looks like we do have some fleet components over here. Oh boy, we did spot something. I don't know what it is, but it's coming right into our trap. I mean, I, I hope it's that way and not the other way around. What do we got? A destroyer. Okay, good. So that's fine. We'll we'll evade this. We'll put some gunfire downrange on it. That's. I think that's all fine. I would prefer at this point definitely to not be in this formation. I'd much rather be in in the light. Uh, sorry, in the line. Uh, but it's really impossible for us to get to that in an in an easy to navigate way. I did forget we had that battle cruiser encounter at the very beginning. That's right. I would much. I mean, I, would, I don't like this this formation because it's hard to push them in the right direction, basically. And we could get lucky with another torpedo hit. In fact, the Carl von Mueller probably has a shot at the battlecruiser. And does. 
So yeah, we'll put a torpedo down range, sure. And one more. And let's go to squad max now and just get start leaving. I'm fine with this too. This is a destroyer, so we're in good shape. In fact, I'd like the Gregor Muckenberger to stay, uh, you know, not in the formation. Der Aggressor has to be Der Retreater for a little while here. Wait a second. That's, that's something. And I suspect it's something that, it, you know, we may be interested in. Interesting. This wasn't a battle cruiser at all. Are they going to let it happen? Is the AI actually oblivious to torpedoes? Yeah, we've got a real kerfuffle developing over here. But look at that. We're over on time. So, cliffhanger number one. Going to have to do it. Sorry about that. Whew. Well, we got ourselves into a real situation here. I get mad every time something bad happens, but you know, I think that that's a that's the appropriate response, isn't it? Don't you want to be upset? Oh, looks like that we were fighting that one with the screen partially clipped. But hey, luckily for us, in a good way. It's probably cutting off the uh, the type identification, but that's not too big of a deal. Better than I don't know, cutting off the bottom of the. It's probably the worst one. <laughs> Okay, well, anyways, until the next episode, we'll, we'll just have to contemplate what could have been armchair general a bit and see how the next one develops. Until then, though, thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.